friends, my name is Arpita Karva and I'm super happy to welcome you back to my channel today. In this video, I'm going to share some fantastic tips on how you can score maximum marks in your upcoming IGNU exam. IGNU stands for Indira Gandhi National Open University. A lot of students pursuing bachelor's or master's from IGNU keep asking me one common question and that is how to write answers in IGNU. So let's know what you should do to get good marks in IGNU. Well, before I begin, let me tell you the real problem. The problem with IGNU is that there is no one to guide you. Because of the distance learning program, neither you have teachers nor your seniors are there to support you. So, preparing for exams becomes all the more challenging. Plus, most of the students who do masters from IGNU opt to give UGC net exam which is a national level exam to become professors and UGC net demands you to score at least 55% in your masters. That's the eligibility criteria. Hence, scoring good marks becomes all the more important. So today I'm going to give you five tips that you can use to write good answers in IGNU. A lot of my students have topped in IGNU and therefore the tips that I'm sharing with you, you can completely rely on them. Also, stay till the end of the video because towards the end, I'm going to share three amazing bonus tips with you. Let's begin with tip number one. Friends, I have always stressed on the fact that knowing the syllabus before sitting for any exam is extremely crucial. And attempting mock test is even more crucial. However, what is super duper crucial is going through the previous year papers. No matter what exam you are attempting in life, Previous year papers are very, very important because previous year papers will give you an insight into what type of questions come in the paper. You will see the trend. So note down the repeated questions that are coming every year in the paper and prepare them thoroughly. Also remember, questions of the immediately preceding attempt is not very important because the same questions won't repeat. So you can ignore them. You will also understand that some questions are always asked by tweaking the language. So by going through the previous year papers, you will understand how to prepare for this exam. I have made a special video series on how to write scoring answers in BA Honours English and MA English program. So no matter which university you are in, watch that video series if you are doing BA Honours English or MA English. It will give you an in-depth analysis of how to write answers to score well. I have been a gold medalist in my bachelor's and master's and I have used those tips to write the answers. So ensure that you watch all the four videos that is there in the series. I'm putting the link in the description below so that you can check it out. Now friends, we move on to the next tip. We all know that IGNU paper is very, very lengthy and you have to fill a lot of pages because the questions demand that. However, I have observed that a lot of students write rubbish in the answers. They think IGNU teachers will give them marks no matter what they write. Are deva, ye gud bade baba. Sirf panne nahi bharne hai. You have to write quality content. Otherwise, the checker will not give you marks no matter aapne kuch bhi likha ho. In order to fill pages, Consider writing examples rather than song lyrics. Fill your paper with relevant examples so that the examiner is compelled to give you marks. This will add length to the content and also fetch you more marks. The teacher will think that you have practically understood the theoretical part. Do not take the content lightly. If you don't write quality answers, no matter how many pages you fill, you will not score well. Let me give you a real life example. मेरी एक स्टूडेंट थी जिसने इग्नू में दो पेपर्स दिए फर्स्ट पेपर जो था उसमें वो बहुत अच्छे से तैयारी करके गई थी सो शी वॉज एबल टू राइट क्वालिटी आंसर्स सेकेंड पेपर उनका इतना तैयार नहीं था तो उन्होंने कुछ भी लिखा फालतू में आंसर्स को बड़े करने के लिए कुछ भी री रिपीट करके चीज़ें लिखी मार्क्स जब आए तो उन्होंने देखा फर्स्ट पेपर जो उन्होंने बहुत अच्छे से दिया था उसमें शी स्कोर रियली वेल और जो सेकंड पेपर था उसमें उनका स्कोर अच्छा नहीं था सो दिस इज अ प्रूफ इनफ दैट इग्नू में पेपर्स चेक होते हैं सो so अगर आप अच्छे क्वालिटी कंटेंट नहीं लिख रहे हैं तो आपको मार्क्स नहीं मिलेंगे फ्रेंड्स द नेक्स्ट टिप इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज ऑल अबाउट योर प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स गुड प्रेजेंटेशन कैन ईजिली गेट यू फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मोर मार्क्स इन द पेपर वेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग अ क्वेश्चन राइट द हेडिंग विद द ब्लैक पेन देन You write the entire paragraph or pointers with blue pen. So, आप 
आदत डालिए कि आपके जो भी आंसर्स हैं उन्हें आप पॉइंटर्स में लिखें विच इज ईजी टू चेक नाउ यू हैव टू ऑल्सो कंसिडर द टाइम सम स्टूडेंट से दैट अर्पिता टाइम वेस्ट होता है अगर हम पेन बदल के लिखेंगे इन दैट केस यू कैन यूज अ हाईलाइटर एंड इन द लास्ट फाइव टेन मिनट्स यू कैन हाईलाइट द एंटायर हेडिंग्स की वर्ड्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन्स इन योर आंसर शीट Trust me, it takes hardly five to eight minutes to do this exercise, and this leaves a very good impression on the teacher. I myself used this technique while I was pursuing M English, and I have spoken about this technique in the M A B answer writing video series, which I was just talking about. Also, to add to the presentation skills, start using graphics in your answer sheet. Make use of tables, charts, diagrams. You'll notice that we all have a graphical memory. when we open any book the first thing we notice is the text no we notice the graphics use graphics graciously and you will get better marks also friends don't forget to leave enough spaces after every answer so that it looks presentable koi bhi answer aapne khatam kiya uske baad teen char line chhod ke dusra answer chalu kariye these are common basic tips that can help you make your answer sheet look neat and clean If you make the mess, the examiner will get annoyed and will not give you the required marks. Friends, the next step is all about time management. Paper is lengthy and the time is less. Students say that they start the paper beautifully, but towards the end, the answer sheet becomes messy, and they are not able to even complete the last question. This is where time management comes into the picture. You all know that there are five questions of twenty marks each. which means that for every question you have to ideally devote how many minutes 30 minutes as soon as the exam starts and you start writing the answer you need to begin your race against time keep the watch in front of you remember you have to attempt all the question adhere to the time for each question remember that in just 30 minutes you have to complete the question no matter what happens once you have mapped this in your brain your handwriting will not become bad you will know how to attempt the question how much time to devote to these questions in fact practice this trick even when you are attempting mock papers plus this will also ensure that you give time to all the questions sometimes you attempt first few questions very nicely and we give so much time to them that at the end we miss out on one or two questions samjho 20 मार्क के क्वेश्चन में कितना भी अच्छा आंसर लिखो 30 मार्क्स नहीं मिलेंगे इसलिए सारे क्वेश्चंस पर इक्वली फोकस करें द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज अबाउट एधरिंग टू द वर्ड लिमिट यू जस्ट नीड टू एधर टू अ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला आई विल टेल यू ऑन एन एवरेज 100 वर्ड्स कैन फिल वप टू वन पेज फॉर अ फाइव मार्क क्वेश्चन फिल वन पेजेस फॉर अ टेन मार्क क्वेश्चन फिल थ्री पेजेस एंड फॉर अ ट्वेंटी मार्क क्वेश्चन फिल सिक्स पेजेस If you don't adhere to the word limit you will not be able to complete your paper on time that's why structure your answer in a way that you are able to adhere to the word limit and finish your answer within that word limit before we move on to the bonus tip a small reminder if you are looking for ma entrance phd entrance ugc net pgt tgt exam updates then please follow us on instagram and facebook we regularly post important information related to all these exams on our social media platform moreover we also share quick revision videos on our insta and facebook every wednesday where we help you revise important topics in less than 60 seconds now it's time to look at the three bonus tips bonus tip number 1 our minds are working so fast in the exam hall that we often end up doing a lot of silly mistakes so please be aware of these silly mistakes please read the question paper carefully sometimes students don't pay attention to simple things jaise ki ek question hai jiske do options hai aapko question number 7 ka ek option page ke end mein diya hai and piche aur likh ke uska option number 2 diya hai aapko in dono mein se ek hi attempt karna hai now kai bar hum pure paper ko padhne ke bajaye jo question hame samne dikhta hai hum kar dete hain या फिर हो सकता है एक क्वेश्चन के चार पार्ट्स हो और क्वेश्चन के स्टार्टिंग में लिखा हो यू हैव टू ओनली अटेम्प्ट टू आउट ऑफ फोर और आप चारों कर देते हैं एंड यू एंड अप लूजिंग ऑन दोज इंपॉर्टेंट मिनट्स सो प्लीज एंश्योर दैट यू रीड ईच ऑफ द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली समटाइम्स यू विल मेक मिस्टेक्स बट इसीलिए हमेशा हैबिट डालिए कि मॉक टेस्ट के अंदर भी आप बार बार क्वेश्चन पेपर को रिवाइज करें फ्रेंड्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज वेन You are attempting questions, then try to attempt 
all the parts of a question in sequence otherwise sometimes the examiner won't give you marks for the other parts that you have answered somewhere else in the question paper हो सकता है आपके क्वेश्चन के तीन पार्ट्स हो पार्ट वन टू एंड थ्री आपने पार्ट वन को अटेम्प्ट किया एंड कुछ पेजेस के बाद में आपने पार्ट टू किया एग्जामिनर ने पार्ट वन चेक करके सिर्फ पार्ट वन के मार्क्स आपको दे दिए पार्ट टू और थ्री चेक होने के बावजूद उसके मार्क्स एंटर नहीं करें सो इफ यू डोंट नो दी आंसर ऑफ अ पार्ट देन जस्ट लीव सम स्पेस एंड मूव अहेड बट अटेम्प्ट इन द सेम ऑर्डर ऑल्सो प्लीज मेक द क्वेश्चन नंबर बोल्ड सो दैट द एग्जामिनर कैन सी what you are attempting and nothing goes unchecked so please make sure that aap jahan pe bhi question number likhte hain wahan pe usse double underline kare and here is the last bonus tip a lot of students ignore the assignment given by ignu which is worth 30 marks but don't do that it's a jackpot you can do it at your own pace at the comfort of your home by using google and all other resources आपको कुछ याद नहीं करना है आपको उसके लिए कोई एग्जाम नहीं देना है आपको कोई बर्डन नहीं लेना है आप घर बैठ के एक दिन लगा के वो असाइनमेंट कंप्लीट कर सकते हैं यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर एवरी एनीथिंग एंड यू हैव द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ स्कोरिंग 30 आउट ऑफ 30 सो डोंट लीव द असाइनमेंट एंड इंश्योर डैट यू डू इट completely and submit it on time if you are looking for more such informative videos then consider subscribing we upload videos to help you ace your exams every sunday also 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 don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our side if you found this video helpful then please like this video and also share it with other fellow aspirants if you have any other questions or doubts or if you want me to make a video on any other topic then feel free to put that in the comment section below i love to read those comments that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very soon with another interesting video till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com